Hello friends, today we are going to see how to check if two binary trees are identical. So let's see some examples. So these are the two binary trees and these two trees are identical. So why they are identical? So the answer is for each node in this tree, the patterns are exactly same, which means A holds two children in this tree also, A holds two children, then B has one left child and in this tree also B has one left child and C has two children and in this tree also C has two children and all datas are exactly same. All data is exactly same, which is why these two trees are identical. Let's see the second example. So in this example, you can see B holds one child here, but in this tree B holds two children. So these two trees are not identical. So let's see how to write program for this. So here is a recursive function which we are going to use for checking if two binary trees are identical or not. The name of the function is check and the parameters are p1 and p2. Obviously p1 points to the root of the first tree and p2 points to the root of the second tree. So as every other recursive function on binary trees, here we are going to drill down in the tree. For example, if a is similar to A, if these two nodes are similar, then we are going to check whether left subtree of A is similar and whether right subtree of A is similar. So let's see how to do that. So the first if condition is if P1 equal to equal to null and P2 equal to equal to null, which means these two trees are null or subtrees are null. So for example, here are these two trees. First is null tree and second is also null tree. So obviously two trees, two null trees are identical. So this condition tells us that. So because P1 equal to equal to null and P2 equal to equal to null, we are returning one because two null trees or two null subtrees are always identical. So we are returning one. One means true. Now, the next if condition. This is an important part now. <coughs> so if P1 is not equal to null and P2 is not equal to null. So if both are present, which is in this case. So let's go inside the if condition. If P1 points data and P2 points data, so if data of P1 and data of P2 are same, here A is equal to A, so they are same. And the second condition, here is the AND condition in these three checks. So the second condition is check if P1 points left and P2 points left. So this check is the function. This is a recursive function and we are calling it again here. So as I have told you, we are going to pass the left subtree of P1 and left subtree of P2. And we are going to check whether these two subtrees, these two subtrees are equal or not, which is why we have called the recursive function check and we have passed left subtree of p1 and left subtree of p2. Similarly, after this and, we are checking right subtree of p1 and right subtree of p2 are identical or not. So in short, we are checking whether data is equal for that node and whether the left subtree of that node and the right sub subtree of that node are equal or not. So these three conditions, if all these three conditions are satisfied, if all of them return one, that is true, then this if gets 
satisfied and we go inside the if so this is the block of code inside if and we return one so i will show you here so for example we are at c for c left subtree and right subtree here is the left subtree and right subtree both are same so we will return one signaling that everything is same in this subtree we will signal that to a and here also we will signal that to a so this is how we write the program and now see if both are null and both are not equal to null if these two conditions are not satisfied then obviously only remaining condition is that either one of them is null means either p1 is null or p2 is null both are not null so see here for b the left subtree here it is d and right subtree is null but in this tree for b right subtree is not null so it is null here and in the second tree it is not null so in this case these two if conditions are not satisfied and we come to the end of the function and we return zero signaling that these two subtrees are not identical so this is how we write the program to check if two binary trees are identical or not you can find out the whole code on my github link the link is github.com slash vivekananda 44 so you can go here and see the code and you can use this code for your work thank you hey friends please subscribe to my channel as i post algorithm videos every day and if you want a video on any particular topic then please mention in the comment below thank you